It was hilarious. I just were were, were they playing the, the sudden death out like for real? No, oh. Nero wanted to go up and like up air Sonic because 6WX wasn't paying attention. But 6WX still just oh. like did a short hop into homing attack and still won. Whoa. So, but here it is, grand finals. We have Zenodo going up against 6WX, the run back. We saw Zenodo do some very big damage whenever it comes to being on Smashville. But then whenever 6WX got that momentum, it was kind of a molly wop to be honest. Yeah. So let's see if Zenodo can realize what went wrong and where he can go to uh, to keep that kind of momentum on his side. Yeah, because he, he had that momentum at the start of the game, but all right now, Circus 6WX is placing himself perfectly just to punish like most of these options that Zenodo's throwing out. Ooh, but that homing tech is not safe at all. I like these rebuttals coming out from Zenodo. He's definitely making them count now because he realizes that it's going to be a uh, very few if uh, 6WX can keep getting these strings. Yeah, walling him out with these spares is definitely what he wants, but actually he's going to get clipped by the uh, spin dash coming back on stage. Oh man, and the forward smash is going to be a little bit out of range right there. 6WX is going to make it back on the stage. Yeah, very close game we have right now. Both of these players are definitely going to respect each other whenever it comes to being off stage. Except 6WX will definitely start throwing out those springs whenever he realizes that Zenodo has to use barrels. Yeah, I mean, like, you might as well. It's free, and it took him, the, it gave him that stock that won uh, mm -hmm. the game last set. If you guys want to see the set that we're speaking about, you guys can go to YouTube.com slash Gucci Gaming. Yep, check out those so sets. So you can see all the uploaded. sets that we've already uploaded. They're already live, guys. So. Are they? Yeah. Damn, shout out to Gucci. Oh, and shout out to yep. that spring. Yeah, we just saw that. Uh, the first time that we saw that in the last set, 6WX actually just forced Zenodo to, uh, to, to use try. all of his juice, but that time he actually got the hit. That was a good call. Zenodo was not expecting that spring. It was very fast. Oh, and once again, we saw that again uh, in the last set where he'd go to this platform. That just helps him out a lot just to get back to stage for free. Zenodo has really no way of covering that since he's already trying to set up a trap on the ledge. Kick him off. Oh, and we've seen that uh, that kind of stall right there uh, from 6WX. It's just great adaptations from Zenodo, already knowing where he's going to be to set up the fair. Honestly, like, Z Zenodo's been u utilizing that fair so much, it's so stale, which is right. like, caused them to not kill there. And it's pretty scary, too, because whenever we saw 6WX in the lead, uh, Zenodo would trade with that, and that actually hurt uh, hurts him a lot, because 6WX still gets back down the stage, and Zenodo has a little bit more percent. Yep. Yeah, because at this point, trades aren't going to mean anything. Aren't going to be good for Zenodo at all unless they take the stock. Oh, man, Zenodo trying to just go for the walk-up up tilt. That does have some pretty good range if you're not expecting it, but 6WX just getting a little lucky and being outside that range. Yeah, up tilt definitely one of the better kill options that Diddy Kong has at this percent. Mm -hmm. And oh. I like how Zenodo's going to take his patience, go on that platform because he knows that 6WX is expecting those monkey flips. Oh, man. That was a really good punish. The aggression Ooh. right now from 6WX. Center, Center stage. <laughs> what a great up smash. Man. As soon as like he, he got that like one spin dash conversion, <laughs> he, knows. Like, he was all over him. He Man. didn't give Zenodo any room to breathe to try to slow the game back down. Six WX, he he could be in the apocalypse, and I don't think he'd he'd be worried one bit. Yeah, this I, man is the coolest cucumber there ever was. <laughs> but we're gonna bring this right back to Smashville. Um, I feel like this is probably Zenodo's best stage in this match. I, I don't know if he has anything else to pull out whenever it comes to, like, I don't know, Town and City maybe, but... Yeah, maybe Town and City or maybe FD. Uh, like, we obviously saw that the, the platform stages weren't really working out for him. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah, double down tilt. I feel so like it's, it, uh, what really affects these matches is uh, who gets that first string to get that, uh, like, major amount of percent. Because both these characters are definitely capable of getting that kind of percent on each other. Yeah. And so that's why it really matters. Oh, Donzo. see, another Donzo coming from Zenodo. I feel like the really hard thing about this match is that 6WX has a fairly easy time getting back to stage, whereas once Zenodo gets uh, knocked off, it could be the stock. Like, yeah. I feel like one out of three times Zenodo's off stage, it's the stock. Or it, you, even if like he does get back on stage, it just resets neutral and Sonic can keep up with it. Yeah, Sonic can keep up with that. Sonic can jump right back into neutral as, as easy as ever. But Zenodo just kind of has a hard time getting off that ledge. Okay, but right now, uh, it just seems like whoever is winning the neutral exchanges more often than not is winning the game, and yeah. that's Zenodo right now in this game. Ooh, the down smash! I really like that. Yeah, he wasn't really sure which side of him he was going to land so on. So he said, match. why not cover both sides? Man, 6WX's grabs these, uh, this, this whole set have been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those pivot grabs are really pulling through whenever it comes to Zenodo monkey flipping onto the stage. Once again, we see that utilization. 
Maybe Zenodo should have a little more patience, not pull out that banana and try covering the platform. To be a little more uh, aware of it. Or maybe he just doesn't want to get rid of stage control. That also sounds like a good idea. Yeah, Hold yeah. on to that. Yeah, and right now it's it's paying off for him. 54% on the second stock and only 81% on his first. Man, and the patience right there yeah. from 6WX just staying and that's been... Well, he's actually going to jump out of that with the uh, the spring, but the spring's going to cancel the uh, the jab. Man, and he threw the banana just to cover the monkey flip right there. Expecting a monkey flip off ledge, but Zenodo's going to wait. Oh, wow, and he's going to call out the, uh, the air dodge wait with a uh, forward air. And it's nice seeing, already in the second game, these guys are making changes to how they've been playing. Like, they're already realizing that they need to, like, Zenodo stuttering the fact that he's going for the monkey flip onto stage. He waited for 6WX to go for, try covering an option before he went. That's just awesome adaptation from these players. I always, like, don't expect the spring, like, when, mm -hmm. when Sonic's, like, a Once he's right past it, yeah. He always catches a lot of, like, not only players, but, like, a lot of people off guard. Yeah, it, catch, it catches me off guard almost every single time. So now right now, almost one top little away from taking this game. But 6WX, if he could turn it up, man, oh, but he, he could turn it get apart. That grab. I was about to say, like, he's kind of out of that percent where the spin dash is going to be converting into good kills. Mm -hmm. Which is exactly the percent that uh, Sonic wants for a grab. It's kind of what makes Sonic a good character, man. Yeah, he's always he, got he has one. He has one kill confirmed after the other. All right. Unfortunately for Six WX, didn't get the, uh, the, the like big damage off that spin dash that he wanted. Oh my goodness! And this pivot guy right now, just amazing. And also, for as how fast Sonic is in this game, to be able to have that kind of movement and that kind of spacing is really ridiculous. Like that's super amazing coming from Six WX. You really have to respect that. All right. Yeah. Six WX unfortunately having trouble uh, like racking on damage in the mm. second stock. Playing patiently. Zenodo really has to play patiently, you know. Once he gives away stage control like he did before, 6 w x turn around, but a, a great up smash catching that landing coming from Zenodo. Yeah, Zenodo learned learn a lot from low one here with these uh these kind of random up smashes. They're not really random, but you know, they're they're raw up smashes. Mm -hmm. Hey man, thanks to low one, he started yeah, doing yeah. those. Exactly. Jaeger bomb, thank you for the four months. Yo! Yeah, show us the Jaeger bomb. Let's go, Jaeger bomb. This man, he is furthering technology. He uh, had a whole bunch of chocolate pretzels that melted, and then he put them in the freezer, made it into a huge chocolate pretzel. Shots that guy. <laughs> a true genius of our generation. Let's Just go. like 6WX and Zenodo, playing on Dreamland for yeah. the third game in the grand final set. Yeah, a, a true Here genius. Here at Farmington in Hills, in their Michigan, in their Ascension 2. Yeah. <laughs> All right, active match. Whoa! Oh, <laughs> we got a boxing match right there. And he's gonna get, he's gonna bounce off the ropes. With the spring. Great patience right there. We've seen these, uh, both of these players, whenever in that situation where they're about to get up it, they always air dodge. And both of them are reacting accordingly and waiting for those air dodges to happen. Yeah, it seems like uh, this stage has been benefiting 6WX very well just because he's like gotten a better exchange of these juggles. Yeah. Like, whenever he gets... Uh, he's able to extend them a lot more. Exactly. I think that's just the nature of Sonic being able to juggle better than Diddy Kong. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. He, did you see how Zenoro turned around? Zenoro, yeah, Zenoro was ready for it. I think he just kind of stuttered right there. Like, he wanted something to happen, but his hands just kind of shut down. Windows had to restart. Ooh, Ooh. Just, yeah, yeah. Barreling out of that one. Mm -hmm. Maybe he tried going for a side B. I don't know. Yeah, either, either way, it was like kind of a panic save button. Yeah, either way, he got back to center stage, and that's what he's holding down right now. 6WX being, being very treacherous of the way he, that he gets in. Like that fair back onto stage. Yeah, sure. Get yourself back on. Oh, Trying to go for that down smash right there. Unfortunately, not going to hit. Gonna la this stock going to last a little bit longer for both players. With a down tilt. Oh, man. And these rolls behind each other. These guys are a little bit too slow to punish that. We saw that from Zenodo and from 6WX. Maybe oh, these guys wow. are getting a little wind being you at the end of this tournament. Zenodo like, just jumped right in front of uh, 6WX's shield with the banana. like Just barely in front of him. Just enough to like kind of bait out a grab from 6WX to get punished. That kind of micro spicing is really going to help. Oh, you see, like, more empty hops coming. Oh, he's just immediately catching Catch the banana. Shout out to Wispy passing it over right before it disappeared. Oh! Yeah, going for these up airs. Oh, man, and he's not stopping. Getting the sour spot into the sweet spot. Nice stuff right there coming from 6WX. Oh, is it all just going to avoid that spring completely? <laughs> you do not want to go on that spring, especially on your fresh stock. 
Zenro is still barely in the lead. One of these Sonic combos can tie it right up, as we saw right there. Yeah, 6WX demonstrating his, uh, his knowledge of the character. And now this is getting rough because if 6WX is able to pull ahead of uh, Zenodo in the percent, then that means 6WX can start playing the way he really wants to play. And that's keeping Zenodo in fear. Ooh, monkey flipping out of that. Sonic had a lot of, or uh, Diddy Kong had a lot of options there. Oh my goodness, Zenodo with the panic monkey flip trying to get back into center stage was 6WX not going to let it happen. Right now, 6WX is just having his ways, and Oda's just kind of on a chicken run right now, trying to chase him down, see if he can get some kind of hit. Yeah, one of the weaknesses of Sonic is, like, a lot of times when he does his spin dash, he has to kind of commit and uh, give up stage control, but, like, yeah. 6WX... He's okay with that. Yeah, yeah, just, like, by utilizing Sonic's mobility, he can kind of just, like, wrap around uh, Diddy Kong. Oh, and Man, the and the air dodge. dodge read once again. If we saw that happen at the beginning of this match, we're gonna ha we're gonna see it happen at the end of that match as well. All right, so hopefully uh, Zenodo did did study up on his cram school here because he is he cannot go back to Smashville. Yeah, he cannot go back to Smashville, and he cannot. Uh, so we're definitely gonna see. I think we're gonna see Town and City. I think that is the, you know, it's mutually benefiting both characters. But that is Diddy Kong's best stage, so that's home for him. Oh uh, yeah, he's definitely thinking about it. Yep. So yeah. we're going to get the Town and City pick. And this is Zenodo's last chance here. He cannot drop a game for the rest of the set. He's got two games to take from 6WX. And we got KK Slider putting more, on some tunes in the back. Yeah, more than two games, honestly, because he's going to have to reset the bracket. Oh, man. Really like those footsies coming right, uh, from 6WX that to get back onto stage. Oh, but really how many down tilts are we going to see Zenodo hit? Yeah, I really like these down tilts. Keeping uh, 6WX at the ledge is just where Zenodo has been, like, strongest in this mm -hmm. whole set. Like, Zenodo, whenever he's in the lead, his... Oh, these four No! Wow, he went so far for and it. And he wanted the back here to finish it off. That would have been ridiculous from 6WX. Yeah, it ridiculously early stock. Not something you see from these kind of characters very often. Yeah, I was about to be like, wait a second. Yeah, I mean, we see it sometimes, <laughs> but like... But not often. So he's WX trying to uh, make it a little more often by going for it. Yeah, shut us him. All right, back to the match. Right now, 6WX is making it super hard for Zenora to get any kind of conversions whenever he's throwing that banana. Wow. I really think the name of the game has been, like, 6WX, like, looking for these grabs from mm -hmm. Zenora, because, like... He has the speed to dash in and get them. I really like Zenodo running around holding shield. You know, that's kind of just helping him a lot whenever it gets, uh, gets time for spin dash. For uh, 6WX to spin dash to come in. Uh oh. That uh -oh. might be it, yeah. Wow. He sunk Did way have, too low on that. Yeah. No time at all. That was the perfect spring right there. Yeah, and oh, it's man. Really has to stop monkey flipping on that stage. It's just free percent for 6 Oh my goodness, 6 Man, hey, with all the confidence and momentum right now, this is that 6 wx with momentum that we saw before in the last set, and he is looking to keep this momentum going. Yeah, once he gets the stock lead and once he like gets that hit. Oh, the that... rub smash! Not gonna take it just yet. Town and City being a little deceiving, but the forward air is going to take it right there. 75 percent on Zenodo stock. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the momentum slipping away a little bit here. Let's see if uh, Zenodo can keep this up. Oh, oh man. Okay, not gonna get that last up air, but. Oh, he's gonna Love run the off runoff backer right there from Zenodo. Zenodo turning it up a little bit, getting some pretty good percent pretty fast. Yeah, looking like 6WX from that last stock. Mm -hmm. Zenodo oh. looking like he's not out of it just yet. Jumping over with the monkey flip. Oh, and trying to scoop him up with that up air is 6WX, but he's gonna get shut down by these forward airs from Zenodo. Oh, and it looks like 6WX is getting up to that percent that Zenodo wants him to be at. He's closing the gap super quick. Only a 5% difference from these characters. Oh, missing the banana toss, unfortunately. Has to run back and get it. Oh, man. We saw that conversion happen to low one, and he's going to carry it over into the next set. Yeah, 6WX getting the uh, banana and the forward air. Very even game here. I, I, I have to imagine that... Oh, my goodness. I have to imagine that a down tilt up smash is definitely going to take the, uh, the mm -hmm. stock here for Zenodo. So 6WX has to play carefully. Up throw. Nope, not going to do it just yet. 6WX knowing better just to jump away instead of air dodging. Oh, wow, actually. The call up. Yeah. Oh, oh, and the up tilt. Sweet stuff coming from Zenodo right there. He's going to take this to a game five. But this is only the first set of grand finals. If Zenodo wants to take this whole tournament, 
he is going to have to take a whole nother set off of 6WX yeah, and, and if, this, he yeah. if he can take this game. If he can take this game. If he can take this game. And this set like has like really pushed both players mm. already so much. Dave's stupid rule is not going to allow 6WX to get to go back to Dreamland, so I definitely expect a Battlefield counterpick. Can, he go, can he go back to Battlefield or, or is like Is it modified DSR? Can you confirm that? It's modified DSR, so he can go back to Battlefield. Okay. And it looks like we are going to be seeing Smash Smashville. Okay. Hmm. I mean, like, this is a stage that Zenodo's very comfortable with. This is the stage where Zenodo's done the most work with Diddy Kong, to be honest. Or against 6WX, to be honest. Yeah, but at the same time, 6WX has found his, his own success in this stage as well. Yeah. To be honest, as we saw in that first game of the last set that these guys uh, played each other in earlier on in this bracket, 6WX got some ridiculous combo to take him off the side of the stage. So we could definitely see this happen. Mental Edge here, utilizing the platform to get back on. 6WX looking like he wants to take a little bit slower of an approach. He has been very aggressive throughout this whole bracket, to be honest. Yeah, I feel like 6WX like plays pa like plays passive in these kinds of situations, but once he has a lead and also yeah. like gets a little sweep of momentum, he gets like a big conversion mm -hmm. off it. I think that's what makes uh, 6WX uh, such a fun Sonic to watch is that he's able to change his playstyle in an instant, and it makes it really hard for uh, players to adapt to it. Yeah, and it's very like Bennett, like he doesn't like just do it just for the sake of like you know changing his playstyle. It works well within the game. Like oh, it works whatever. super well, right? You know he has to play that passive game to bring it back slowly, but once he has that advantage, he's able to use Unify uh, or uh, use all of Sonic's tools to do a lot of great work. Yeah, yeah just kind of like the snowball his lead. Exactly. Ooh, wow. And he's actually going to get the trade rate that that's perfect for Zenodo, seeing as he's in the lead, and also uh, he wanted to get that stage fill as soon as possible. Yeah, he's, at, he's at kill percent here. Got the, uh, for any kind of confirm, but right now this is prime percentage for Sonic to get a lot of uh, confirms off his spin dash. Oh, and the scoop is actually going to take you right there. Zenodo looking really good right now. 87% on the first stock, though. Yeah, but we've seen uh, we've seen 6WX like take some crazy stocks here. So mm -hmm. I, also, you know, it was, uh, 6WX with Outrage, one of those uh, spin dash combos could definitely work just like that. But not going to take the stock just yet. Well, for the forward Ooh. smash, I'm actually going to get punished by the forward air. <laughs> oh, yep, frame trapping him with that up air. That was very nice. Oh, okay. Bales coming through clutch. Yeah, getting clipped by the barrels. 6 of UX chasing this man to the end of the ends of the earth to take this first stock. Bad situation. Oh, oh okay. no, and Zenodo capitalizing the wrong way, trying to go for a oh, pivot grab wow. the other way. What a situation there. Like, he monkey flipped off the side of the stage and, like, jumped air dodge. And, uh, 6 of UX was able to react to it, get the back air, and finish off that stock. Exactly. Only 48% too. That was actually a really good cleanup. Yeah, so Sonic definitely can... Uh, get this this damage here mm -hmm. oh very nice oh Ooh, no don't what? do it to him are you kidding me and that's how 6wx is going to take it what what, what a way yo. to end grand finals yo 6wx he had that in his back pocket the whole time he knew he knew he activated his trap card at the end